what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There are new reports that the subhuman killer cop, Derek Chauvin, and George Floyd knew each other. Maya Santa Maria, the former owner of El Nuevo Rodeo, a Latin nightclub in Minneapolis, says that both guys worked at her club. She sold the club in January. She gave a brief description of each of their character. She said that Derek Chauvin worked for her for 17 years and he mostly worked on the weekends. She said that his demeanor was cool, but anytime he would work urban events, black folks, he would be very, very aggressive and he'd often pepper spray people. When she talked about George, she said, nicest guy in the world. Everybody liked him. Good guy. If that mutt, Derek Chauvin, was so bad, if his anger issues were that horrible, why did Maya keep him employed all those years? I got an answer for you. She said the city forced her to employ him. To bring you up to speed, if you don't know what's going on, Derek Chauvin was called to a convenience store on a call of forgery. There was a $20 bill involved that the clerk said George Floyd was trying to pass and he called the police. Police came. They uh, detained George Floyd. Put him in cuffs. They were taking him to the car to put him inside of the patrol car. However, that never happened because at some point they uh, forced him to the ground and Derek Chauvin put a knee to his neck and he applied pressure until he cut off oxygen to his brain and he died. He died despite the pleas of witnesses who were on the scene. Derek Chauvin applied pressure, continued to apply pressure despite the cries of George Floyd. George Floyd begged for his life. He said, they're killing me, they're gonna kill me. The man screamed for his mother. He put his knee on dude's neck for four minutes until he became motionless. And after he stopped moving, he continued to put his knee on to his neck, apply pressure. He didn't take his knee off his neck until the paramedics actually arrived and walked up to him and tapped his leg like, okay, that's enough. Uh, take your knee off so I can take him. And then the way they dragged him onto the gurney, just treated him like a dead animal, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if they had some type of prior beef. And this fool saw, oh, this is an opportunity to settle it. Because dude was complying. We saw the video. I posted the video of George Floyd being compliant. Why did they take him all the way across the street to a different squad car or truck? I do believe that they were trying to cover the crime. They didn't expect that people would follow them and start filming. 
it was like they was trying to hide it. You know, it was on the other side of the truck. And it's like they was trying to hide what they were doing to him. I personally think that this was a first degree murder. I think it was premeditated. I think they had to be, it's too much of a coincidence. They worked together for about a year. Now they say that George Floyd worked the weekdays and well weeknights and Charlene worked the weekends, but they still worked at the same club for an entire year. Too much of a coincidence. They had to know each other. I think it was premeditated murder. And as such, Derek Chauvin should be put to death by the United States of America. It was his job to preserve life, to render aid. Once this man was in his custody, it was his job to keep him safe. He took the oath to do that. And so did the other officers that were on the scene. It was four officers on the scene. Each had a duty to preserve life. All four failed. All four should die. No more talk. What the talking about?